Gillespie is the Assistant Administrator for the Office of Response and Recovery at FEMA. She joins us now for more on the recovery efforts in the wake of Hurricane Ian. Lalani, I'm sure you're extremely busy. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us. How, how is FEMA responding to the widespread damage across the state of Florida? Well, good afternoon, Elaine and Nikki. Thanks for having me today. Um, search and rescue efforts are ongoing in the state of Florida. Our administrator is down on the ground today, helping to assess damage and work with state and local officials to make sure that the state has whatever it needs. Our primary focus today is also on South Carolina and making sure that the people of South Carolina are prepared for this impending storm. So uh, with respect to Florida at this point, we were talking to our correspondent there who is basically talking about how widespread and extensive the damage is right now, how expansive the area is. Um, can you be a little bit more um, specific about those recovery efforts in Florida? What are those looking like at this point in time? Sure. Well, right now, we're really focused on life safety and life sustainment in Florida. Um, search and rescue efforts, as I said, are ongoing across the state and making sure that people are safe. Safety right now is our number one priority in the state of Florida. And communication, he said, is really difficult right now. Um, can you talk to us a bit about that? How is that affecting your efforts? Well, communication on the ground is obviously an evolving situation, but we have all of the communication that we need in concert with the state uh, to make sure that ongoing operations can continue while we continue to pivot and make sure that the state of South Carolina is prepared and supported as they need for the storm. Well, Lani mentioned communications are difficult. What are some of the other challenges the agency FEMA is facing on the ground there? Well, right now, it's just a dynamic situation. Um, we're really focused in on making sure that people are taking care of themselves, um, that they are staying safe, and that we are enabling all of the disaster operations on the ground while making sure that we support the people of South Carolina as well. I know Elaine and I have both covered hurricanes, and no hurricane is the same, of course, and, and so much devastation for residents right now. How does Hurricane Ian compare to other storms FEMA has responded to in recent years? You know, that's a great question. We have really good lessons that we can learn from any storm, but every single storm is unique. They hit in different places. They have different impacts. And what we really focus on is every individual storm and making sure that we're supporting state and local efforts uh, to pre-position resources in advance as we did this time in Florida. And we are doing right now in the state of South Carolina. So many Americans in need of help right now, and it still is continuing as we speak. Leilani Stainsby, Leilani, thanks very much for your time. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me.